hello. Uh, today I'm going to share with you a few more ideas uh, that Harry Carmine uses when accomplishing extreme foreshortening in his figure drawings. One thing he does is he creates um, a feeling of perspective in the environment surrounding the figure. He does this by putting in an actual perspective line. He does it subtly so you don't really notice it, but if you look, you'll see it in most of his drawings where he does um, foreshortening. Um, another thing he does to achieve perspective is he puts in horizontal forms that sort of walk the eye back in space. Um, the paper is 2D, but the concept is 3D, so you have to translate a three-dimensional thing that you're seeing as an artist and put it on a two-dimensional surface and make it read to the viewer as a three-dimensional thing. So perspective must be suggested in some manner in the drawing, in the environment, when doing foreshortening. And Harry Carmine does this. He does it with a perspective line, and he does it with horizontal lines or forms that slowly walk their way back. The other thing he does is he creates interest in the foreground, whether with heavier pressure, as we see here, or you can put in more detail, you can use different colors, but you put things in the foreground that create interest and so the eye just naturally flows to the foreground and reads it as the front of the figure regardless of how what's really going on um, visually. If you take away the environment the figure would look like a rather peculiar object floating in space. So you have to consider the environment and you have to create interest in the foreground. So those two ideas are very relevant to foreshortening. If you incorporate them, your foreshortening will be very successful.